Hey everybody here, this is Happy Gamer. Welcome to another Warhammer video. This time I'm talking about Celestines slash Command Squad. I say slash because the only time I use Celestines is in my Command Squad. Therefore, I'm going to cover both at the same time. I have to repeat to everybody, Warhams and Actors of Faith usually go in any phase you want. Movement, shooting, assault. You pick it. You even can redo it. For example, Warhams can be used twice in a turn. Remember that it's very important if you want to win with sisters. If you're not doing this, don't complain about the army. <laughs> um, lots of overlapping special rules with the sisters. With the Celestines especially, let's go into that with the Command Squad. So when I take the Command Squad, I usually take the full 10 members. So that would probably, that's going to end up being 8 Celestines, uh, 1 Dialogus, and 1 Hospitaller. In addition, I throw in a Ministorum Priestess. So that's going to bring it up to 11 Pete models in the unit. Now... With those 11 models, let's count our special rules, shall we? We're going to have Acts of Faith. We're going to have Shield of Faith, giving them their plus, their 6 plus and vulnerable stave. They're going to be stubborn. We're already up to 3, okay? With a Priestess, they're going to have Zealot. Zealot is going to give them, let me remember, Hatred, right? Reroll all misses on the first round of, of combat. And what else? The hatred comes with, 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 with what? Fearless. Fearless. Okay. We're up to five special rules. Let's keep going. Acts of, uh, um... Shield of Faith not only gives them the 6 plus and vulnerable save, it also gives them Adamantium Will, which basically 5 plus deny the witch. We're now to 6 special rules. If you pop off their Act of Faith, which is Interest Crusade, uh, in the Assault phase, because this is the only time it's really useful, it's going to get Fleet... Crusader and move through cover. <laughs> we are now at six, seven, nine special rules in action at the same time on one unit. Find anybody else in the game who can do this. Uh, and you can pop these all off at the same time. Actually, you're going to get up to ten. Okay, because you're also going to use the war hymns. Now, the basic two war hymns that we use are the one that allows you to re-roll saves and the other one that allows you to re-roll wounds. Okay? Are you starting? To, so now we're up to 10. On top of that, if you get any icons, and or, or well, actually, you're going to get the Simulacrum Imperialis, which is going to allow you to use your Acts of Faith twice in the game instead of just once. Just think about all of that put together. Uh, the Celestines really are your frontline unit. And on top of... Oh, Loud Hailer! How can I forget? And... Um, the Sister Dialogus. Of course, now you're up to 11. Why? Hospitaller gives you Feel No Pain. 5 plus. Okay? And Dialogus gives you Loud Hailer, which I believe allows you to re-roll any failed Acts of Faith or War Hymn rolls. But right now, on this unit, when it pops an Act of Faith, you will have 11 special rules going on at the same time it's insane and that's not even that uncommon most sisters should have uh, seven special rules going on with them at any given time typically so 
just use them. I use them. They put the, they're literally your frontline sisters because they're literally I put them in a line in the front and just wait for somebody to get close. Or just leave them in the rhino. Uh, if you've read, if you've watched my other video on uh, Imperial Knight Tactics where I use the box, that means where I take three to four rhinos and I put one in front, two on the side, one in the rear of the Imperial Knight and then move them up for probably about two turns. Well, actually, he probably runs. No, he doesn't. What am I thinking? They walk up. You're going to talk about a turn or two. And then on that other turn, on that final turn, the second turn, the rhinos charge ahead with the 12 inches. The, the, the knight keeps walking up behind it, shooting at everything along the way. This usually makes the uh, opponent have to choose whether popping your rhinos or popping the knight, whichever one they want to wait. Well, somebody's getting up to them. They're not popping all of them in two turns. So <laughs> either, you know... It's usually t the command squad plus two units of uh, retributors, not retributors, uh, dominions is usually what I use, pop out on the second or third turn, or you popped all of the rhinos and they're walking up, and, but you didn't shoot at the Imperial Knight at all. That's the tactic that I use with them. I hope you enjoy it. I'll be doing more later. Bye!